Hey, get. hey guys, welcome back to the Royal Works channel. Well, that went a lot hotter than I thought it was going to go. I thought this was going to be the easy part. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to mount the engine onto the transaxle. And I don't have a stand to run the engine by itself. And I want to test out the engine before I go too much further with it. So what I was hoping to do is just mount the engine to the transaxle, put the starter in and at least get it so it could turn over and I could start this. But I had an issue when I tried to in install it. The flywheel, yeah, let me show you what happened. So the flywheel felt like it was hitting something. So I thought initially, for some reason, I thought it maybe was the clutch. Uh, because I checked the clutch that was on the old engine and it looked a little bit different than the uh, the one that came with the engine that I bought. So I figured, you know what, I'll get rid of one thing. So I took the clutch out, uh, took the clutch off the flywheel, figured bring it right down to the minimal amount of space that's needed to get it in there. But then I noticed that it was hitting here and hitting here, and I think at the top too. And so I ended up doing a little investigating, watching a couple of videos, and come to find out, I think this is a six bolt transaxle, and this is a 12 volt flywheel, which it seems like it isn't a big deal. I think all I have to do is just grind some of this out so it has enough clearance. So that's what I'm going to try doing. I think I have to, I don't want to go into the back area. Like I want to make sure that I'm just taking it out of here. Here, I'm going to take a little out of here, a little out of this up here. I'm not going to go all the way through, but just take, it really isn't hitting by much, but I'm going to use my uh, die grinder and see if I can take a little of that out. Some of the things that they said to be careful of when you do this is, not to hit the bolts um, with the grinder because this is uh, magnesium and it, you know, magnesium can catch on fire. So I think I'm gonna have to take off some of this too. So I might just take a little of this off, a little of this, just like take up, this, this seems to be like, a. I know you're not supposed to take a lot of this out because this helps center everything in there like you don't want to take this edge off so um, I think I'm going to start with just this just thin these out a little bit so to grind this I'm just using our Makita die grinder it's a quarter inch die grinder and I'm using uh, these bits here they're basically carbide uh, grinding bits looks just like this here we use these actually for the uh, pumpkin carvings but I think it'll work good with this All right, so that worked out pretty well. But boy, did that make a mess. This was covered with that dust. I tried to keep up with it and clean it here and there, just in case it did catch on fire or whatever, that it wouldn't spread like anything, you know? But, oh my God, it went everywhere. But I'll give that a shot, see if that works. One pot that I made sure I didn't touch is this edge right here. 
I guess that's really important not to grind that off. And you can see why you wouldn't need to because this actually tapers in and gets a smaller diameter. Uh, so I, it would go through this part easily, but it seemed to get hung up when it gets closer to here. So I'm gonna try that out, see how that works. Even if it's close, I could take more out later. Like I said, I just wanna get this so it can uh, support the engine and be able to run off of this. Nice. All right, so it looks pretty good. It's pretty tight against there. You got the bolts in, I just popped the starter. I'm not 100% sure if the starter is gonna even work, but gonna give it a shot anyway. Yeah, so that was a little bit of a pain in the neck. It was definitely a messy project, but uh, I, I don't think it was too bad. It worked out pretty well. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, this one, it went all right. It went better than I thought it was going to go. Um, hopefully, in the next few weeks, we're going to really kick butt on this project. I'm hoping. Things are kind of unsettled right now, but uh, my main objective, along with getting some progress done at Shane's house, I want to get this uh, definitely running. I want to get it running. I want to be able to bring it in and out of the garage, because uh, I still want to work on other projects too, but I'm going to mainly focus on Bruce this winter. I want to definitely be able to drive him this summer. Well, I got my fingers crossed. I'm glad you guys have been so patient with me on this project. I know I've been starting it, stopping it, starting it, stopping it, but uh, I really want to do this good and uh, I'm looking forward to all your comments. I'm sure uh, with the Volkswagen community, there's a ton of knowledge out there. And I'm really looking forward to your input and your support, hopefully. Um, but this is going to be it for today. And I'm, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for being here, you guys.